Anger manifests itself differently. With anger comes creativity, comes expression. They've co-opted a good amount of that anger. It's happening and people don't even know it. A lot of these big companies and clothing companies and Coca-Cola, they figured out rebellion in the 60s and 70s and now they use it as the cool thing. It's like, you are hip if you're rebellious. We were taught in school that our government is a democratic government. It's for the people, by the people, of the people. And we feel betrayed and we feel like the contract, the social contract, has been violated. I think we're fighting a battle for people to understand that about themselves, about advertising, about, about the world around them. And I think that is the war that goes on. My conversation with uh, Arafat in a uh, uh, house in uh, Tunis, and he was not able to, with the mouth, to speak. I recognize Israeli people. He drew the, the Israeli flag with the David Star, and he, f and he signed. Our language is not English, it's not French. It is the, 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 the drawing. I think people on the left seem to have realized the potential of satire as a way of communicating um, with, with their target audience, particularly with young people. We live in a society that's so ADD and, and you know, we have the attention span of a mongoose on meth, so getting people to, to pay attention for longer than three seconds about a topic. Does this look like a jungle gym or a jail, you think? It's, it's like, a, you know, it's a magic trick, it is. You, you hang something shiny over here and you're like, look, look, look. And then over here you're like, oh, voter fraud. Looking out at figure 17, the number of puppies kicked by the 1% every year. The number has been increasing almost exponentially. And that's why we need comprehensive campaign finance reform. Art that just reinforces what is, is by and large propaganda. Where art has its own particular politics is getting us to think differently about what we look at every single day. And getting us to imagine sort of new terrains of possibility within what is politics, what should politics encompass. Freeing us from the tyranny of the possible.